The Denver Nuggets took a two-game lead over the LA Lakers 2-0 behind a Jamal Murray and Nicole Jokic masterclass in the fourth quarter. Topped it off with the game winner. Uh, Mike, Lake, Lakers fan, we Talk got to hear man. our Laker voice about what you. How you feeling? Right I'm now? heartbroken. Mm-hmm. I mean, game one. I didn't really have high expectations for game one against the Nuggets. I kind of figured that was probably going to be the first loss. But game two, to be up 15 at the half, eventually get up to 20, Mm -hmm. and you just can't close it out down the stretch. It's really tough. I mean, the dry spells that we had, like four or five minute spurts without scoring, you can't have that against the defending champs. You literally just can't. And I thought it was a a grace that Jamal Murray and, and company really struggled shooting the ball in the first half, but you can't expect them that to just, like, keep going on. Second half, they're going to hit their shots. And I think that for us to have those type of dry spells and those times where we just don't get, even get a shot up because we're turning the ball over, yeah. you can't win against the Nuggets if you're playing like that. You I, can't. I look forward into the future of the series, and based off these two games, it kind of feels reminiscent of last year. Last year we talked about the Lakers got swept in the conference finals. But every game was close. And if that was something you was you was hanging on to by a thread. And I think potentially this could be something we kind of say the same thing. The first game, I felt like they they really made me think after that first half, oh wow, the Lakers may have figured something out. The familiarity um may be something to their advantage. And then they lose the first game. It's like, okay, they come mm-hmm. out, like you said, up 15 at the half. They have a 20-point lead. And we like, oh, okay. And then boom, it happens. Um they just hit this wall. They get complacent. I, I really can't put my finger on it with the Lakers. This is a, a, a game that I feel like they had to go out and score 40 points in the second half. You had 20 points in the third, 20 points in the fourth. And even the in-game performance from LeBron, it really felt like they had an answer after that little stretch. LeBron comes through with the shots. He got the steal on, on Murray, gets the dunk. It just feels uh, – Austin, uh, Austin Reeves had the shot in the, on the right side of the floor. D'Angelo Russell had the left side corner three. It felt like y'all had the responses. For y'all to lose this game, it's going to be super deflating for this team to come back from because if you lose that game, what game can you win? The yep. game we're up 20, we have to win yes. that game. Yes, close that out. D'Lo gave us 20. Maybe could he have been better down the stretch? Maybe. But – we got to take that game from D'Lo. Anthony Davis in the first half, amazing. You know, I think if he would have continued that down the stretch, he would have been in a little bit better uh, shape. Cre- again, credit to LeBron for trying to keep us afloat. I, I feel like it's got to be something with, like, obviously we know about the Denver conditions and how, like, the air is a little – it's it's just not it's not the same up there. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's been a, a major factor because their legs have been looking tired. So what about They're last year, the gas. two games in L.A.? <laughs> I mean, hey, I didn't say that's the only factor. I didn't say that's the only factor. Time after time and time after again, the, the Nuggets have proved that they are the better team. KB and D Mills, I talked about deflating for the Lakers. If you are a Nuggets player, if you're Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, you go into that locker room after a win like this, how are you feeling? I'm feeling extremely confident, especially if I'm Jamal Murray during that second half and that fourth quarter and stuff. He started to really get it going, and he just hit a game winner. I feel like he kind of started off very slow. He was like two for 10 at one point. So for him to have that resurgence and kind of have that next shot mentality, I think that's what you want from a guy like Jamal Murray. Because when you talk about him complimenting Jokic, he's literally like the Batman to the Rodman type of dude. Mm-hmm. So I think that he has now the confidence in the world. You saw him after he hit that game winner, he in the crowd. Dead. Like they, they on cloud now right now. So everybody yes. feeling good, especially after that. The cool thing is that we know that Jamal Murray hit the game winner, and Jokic was unstoppable down stretch. But every single person contributed. The big shot outside of Jamal Murray's shot was the three-point shot from Michael MPJ, Porter Jr. Yes. Like, that was an insane shot to take, but it goes in. Kenny Hustle had the, had the dunk, that, that out of nowhere dunk. Uh, Christian Brown had the mid-range jump shot off the pick and roll with Nikola Jokic, so everybody contributed. Aaron Gordon wa- walling up. Yes. Yes. Davis. Oh, you yes. remember that KCP when he sat in that chair on Austin yes. Reeves on that That pick- whole possession yes. got the yes. offensive foul. Yes. Yes. And that was the difference because I felt like in the first half, all the Lakers were contributing a little bit more than what the Denver Nuggets were giving, it, uh, giving them. But it's going to flip. They are the defending champs. Like, it's going to turn it around, and they showed exactly why. Do you have so, any hope in Austin Reeves turning around and getting it going offensively? Uh, I do. I do. I mean, a lot a lot late in that game, you obviously seen LeBron with the ball, and it was kind of like, do I go and get mine, or do I kind of just, like, follow the system a little bit and let LeBron and Anthony Davis work? But, again, I think we're at our best when everybody's being impactful, and that, that goes for him being aggressive. One of my least favorite things about NBA offenses down the stretch is it becomes very stagnant, and it's like, give it to our best player. It's a two-man game between you and a big, or you try to get the necessary mm-hmm. switch. That's the way the Lakers play. And, again, LeBron had a stretch. We scored nine straight points for the Lakers. 
That same offensive scheme, the Nuggets do as well, but they have the best player in the world yeah. on their team. And everybody operates. Yeah, so it's like if we're doing the exact same thing, but I have Nikola Jokic, I feel like our chances of winning this is high. Anthony Davis is one of the best defensive players in basketball. In that fourth quarter, when Jokic got his feet into the paint, there was nothing you could really do. And it was even at points where they start to show two, and he would kick it out. Then they stopped showing two. It was right over the top. Even when he missed the shot, he got his own rebound. Yeah. And going into the fourth quarter, he was like five of eight from the field, and he ended the game with 27 and 20. I know. The and folk, 10 assists. Like, bro, the, folk the, work, best in the, world. the folk work was disgusting. And then he was doing it against. It didn't matter if it was Rui or if it was AD. And it's, it's just always so crazy because we know – He's like he doesn't jump out the gym at all. Yeah, like the movie did on AD. You probably could have slid a piece of paper underneath him, and he's still getting the and one on one of the best defenders in the world. You I know? think well, a turning point for y'all is when AD got in foul trouble late in that third, because mm -hmm. then they put Rui on him, and it was just free cheese. It was like Shaq say barbecue chicken. Like he was just licking his chop <laughs> when he was guarding him. Yeah. Like there's no way Rui Hachimura has any chance of stopping Jokic on any post ups, any type of action. There's not many people that's stopping Jokic, period. So no, for him to be Rui, then one, yeah. Rui Hachimura is like putting KB on me. It's 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 easy. It's it's easy money. I wouldn't go that far. Let's yeah, let's please relax, because if we did get into the gym, you are not dominating like Nikola Jokic. I disagree, but we can die. we can we can agree to disagree. All right, all right. What, what side would y'all be on on that? Is he dominating? He's not dominating. Think, okay, I cool. haven't <laughs> seen, I, I, him and dominating don't really go together. He okay, couldn't cool. dominate so the guy me. that was fresh out of hip surgery <laughs> that he had a foot over. He couldn't dominate him, so we can move on. Yeah. Is this wraps for the LA Lakers? As honest, I'm just gonna keep it honest. It probably is. I think you have a a decent chance to defend a home court, but starting the series off down 0-2. It's not a good look. Yeah, I feel like this is the game to steal. Like, this is the one. Like, everything was going perfect for you, and you still somehow just let it fall out of your hands. It's over. You can't win this game. It's going to be hard to see him win another game. Yeah, because the Nuggets aren't going to stop being perfect. A, a, a little under talk about thing, D'Angelo Russell hit like six or seven threes in this game. Yes, he did. And you still lose. I know. Ah, That's because you got a guy on the other side that has a 20-20 triple-double. Yeah, it's, it's uh, really, really tough.